What's up everyone? This is Asadullah Chaudhary. So today we're going to look into the three basic methods of writing jQuery code. The first method is uh, writing inline jQuery. The second one is internal and the third one is external. So we'll go step by step. So let's start from inline. So first I'm going to remove this line number 12 in which I included script.js file. I don't need it anymore for this particular example. Removed and I'm going to create a button. I'm going to give it some name and it's going to be click me. In the opening tag, I'm going to use HTML event on click. And here I'm going to write some jQuery code. Let's suppose this dot hide. So what it's going to do is, first of all, let's understand this keyword this. This means the current object which is which is calling this function, the hide function. So what's the current object? The current object is this button. So if you know the DOM uh, do data object model, so everything is considered as an object. So this button is also considered as an object. So as soon as I'll click this button, this code will be triggered. Uh, this means the current object as I mentioned earlier. And dot hide, this is the function that I'm going to perform on this element. So let's uh, go into the browser. Refresh. Click me. So if I click this, button has been hidden. Let's go back. Uh, this was the inline example of uh, jQuery. This is how you write the inline jQuery code. But it's not a good practice. So now let's try another example. This time I'm going to write internal JavaScript code, jQuery code. Script. So right underneath line number 11 where I included the jQuery file on line number 12, I'm going to write my own internal jQuery code. So on line number, on line number 10, I'm going to create another element. Let's suppose I'm again going to use button and it has some ID. Button and let's give it some name. I am a button. Let's quickly go into the, go into this part, the internal jQuery part. So here I'm going to write some jQuery code. First I have to write a dollar, then I'm going to target this button element. So I'm going to target it using the ID selector hash, hash, followed by the ID name dot click. So as soon as uh, this button will be clicked, I'm going to do something. Some function will be called and it will show an alert box. You just clicked me. Let's quickly go back to the browser. If I click this button, so you just click me. Okay, so we already seen uh, two of the types, the inline as well as the internal jQuery code. So let's, uh, so now let's dive into the external uh, jQuery code. In order to write external J uh, jQuery code, you need to create an external JavaScript file that I created already over here, script.js. So now it's time to include this file, source public JS script.js. I'm going to do the same thing over here on script.js. Again, I'm going to target my element. I'm going to use ID selector, hash, button, dot click as soon as this action will be performed 
this function will be called automatically the anonymous function and an and an alert box will be shown to you you just click me uh, let's go back to our browser refresh let's click this it's working perfect so now you can get confused over here what's the best practice what should uh, what should you use I would suggest you to use the external jQuery why because HTML is a different language whereas jQuery is totally different language whether it's jQuery or it's JavaScript so it's better to make an external jQuery file and then include it in your HTML it would look more cleaner so writing the inline jQuery code as well as uh, internal jQuery code is not a good practice so I would recommend you to go for external the way I uh, did this last example it's an external file script.js so this is it for this lesson and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then take care. Bye-bye.